Hello everybody, Mr. Pilgrim here coming at you with the next video in our Platinum Trophy Guide for Midoriya. This will be part 3, and in part 2 we had gone through the forest, found a couple of things, helped out a friendly NPC, and also fought the boss of that area, and then ended up getting betrayed. So from here we had just run past somebody who we are now going to free, but before we do that we're going to come over here, grab this item, and pull this lever. From here we'll actually head back and head up. And here you'll have this NPC that you can talk to. Of course I'm going to be skipping things just to save face. And you will get a key. Make a manual save just because. From here like always I'm now going to be skipping to anything of importance. For the note, there is a couple of new enemies in this area, like almost every other area, and they are a little bit harder than others, but I believe in you guys. And as always, I'm now going to be skipping to anything of important or talking about the level itself, which I actually have something to mention. When going through this level, there's going to be a lot of going up and then back down and then back up. It's just a bunch of that, so do keep that in mind as you're going to be getting a bunch of keys and things like that in this area. So yeah. Alright, so from where we last left, as you've seen, I'd gone to the right and collected a couple of things, and then followed the main path. And along the way, if you take the exact path I take after the first elevator ride heading to the left and then down, you'll find this vessel. This will basically allow you to have a double jump of a sense, like so. Now allowing you to pair that if you also are using the Blade of Judgment to give yourself a little bit more height per jump. So do keep that in mind, and like always we're now going to move on to the next thing of importance. Alright, in a small ways away from where we just were, right here you will find the next key item, the Mercy Cellar Key. Um, I believe it's 2BF. And from there we'll now move on to the next area where we will be using that key and so on and so on. Alright, and as you can see, like I said, we're going to be skipping a floor and then finding the next key right here. There will be a small little mini boss you'll have to fight in this enclosed space. So do keep that in mind. And then we can now actually go to the right side and then head back down to the third floor. Alright, so down here in this next little side area you can find another incense, and then over here you can also find probably the best item in the game, the soup ladle. As you can see right here, definitely an item, definitely, you definitely want to use for sure. Definitely, yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on. Okay, now the real thing that you actually want to uh, take note of in this area is right here in this room. It's going to be a note that has a combination that you're going to want to remember, so 1909. Just keep that in mind, and I will let you know when it becomes important. Alright, so like I said, you will now need to input that code exactly right here on the map. So you'll have to go back down to floor 3, floor 2... Whichever one it is specifically, and then you'll come here to this statue, which I've already messed up, which is okay. And once I've done that, you'll see the door open. So now we can move on to the next thing of importance. Alright, so the next key item you're going to get is going to be right here on the map. You're going to fall down and then head into that room just to the left, and then come back around, and then you'll end up in this small little elevator shaft underneath, and then if you come up, you'll find the key to the first floor. But before you do that, I highly recommend exploring all of this area, as coming back to it is definitely not fun to do, so do keep that in mind. So. Before heading to the first floor, I highly recommend just going through, exploring everything else that you possibly can, making saves wherever you can, and just making sure you don't have to come all the way back to this area, as it is a long trek. Alright, so once you are ready, you can finally come up to the first floor, and... Uh, 
like I said, make sure that you have fully explored and done everything that you want to do. There will be one last point. I will probably tell you this before leaving, so do keep that in mind. But once you head through this door, you will be at the boss of the area. And I will show you, like always, the gameplay of me fighting and defeating the boss without taking any damage. And just like that, you will have defeated Frika, the leader of the thieves, and will get the thief's key, and you will also get the peacekeeper trophy upon doing so. Like always, this can easily be made easier based on what incense you are using and what skills you have, and also if you've been doing all of the bosses, no damage up to this point. As you'd seen, pretty easy so far so like i said there's one last warning now now that you have the thief's key you can probably go back and unlock and open any of the remaining doors that you haven't gotten and i highly recommend doing that before moving on so from here as you'll see all the way to the left like top left of the map that's basically where you're going to end back up if you follow the path to the left and like i said the shortcut just to my right and above me you would think that that works, but it does not. Same with, I believe, the other one way over to the right. I don't think that that works either. So, like I said, just make sure you get everything while you can and fully explore. All right, and as you can see, we finally ended up at where I said we were. Now, this room actually has a couple of things. So you can find a silver coin here, and then if you come over here, you can actually find a hidden little area just down here which will have a crystalline incense. So, a couple of secrets for you to find. And here you will have a save area. But anyways, that is going to do it for us, and as always, I will see you all in the next one, and I hope that these guides have been helpful, helpful or informative in some way, shape, or form. This has been Mr. Pilgrim, and I'll see you all in the next one.